top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, cover that the trap mail, but the rest of the time, rap and a black man, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail, never made it. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim Pass here, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I was teaching you guys how to make 3D Fortnite thumbnails. It's really easy to do. All you need is um, a program called Source Film Maker. You can get it on Steam and also Photoshop or just uh, any graphic design editing software. So yeah, it's really easy to do, it's free. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Um, can we break 100 likes? That would be amazing, guys. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And and yeah, with that all being said, let's get on into it. Right guys, so I'm here in Photoshop and this is basically the final thing we will be creating. It's very clean, really good quality, and yet yeah, easy to do. Um, so like I said, you need to have an editing software like Photoshop or anything else. And you need the program Source Film, Fil Source Film Maker. You can get it on Steam. Um, it does take a while to download, depending on your computer and your internet. I've got a laptop and it took like two hours. Um, so yeah, you need to get this downloaded and then once you've done that you want to go scroll down and go to browser workshop and here we're going to get a Fortnite skin to use and you want to search in this search bar Fortnite like so and there's lots of different skins and also props like pickaxes and um, items and stuff like that so say whichever one you want, say you want this one right here, you just click on it like so and subscribe once you've subscribed you've got it um, and yeah you can go straight on into source film maker so I'm just going to press across on that um, so yeah this is the one that I was working on before um, it's really simple I'm not gonna like show you um, everything like I'm not gonna like and make a complete new model but I'll show you guys how I actually did this um, so before you uh, start you wanna it's gonna be a black screen for you and it's gonna say no loaded map and what you want to do is just right click. I'm going to un you should basically un I'm going to unload this map. I'm going to start again. Go to load map. Um, and you want to type in well you need to install this. There's going to be a link in the description. Um, I know it's complicated guys, but you need to install this called White Room and watch a tutorial on how to install it. It's really simple guys. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure you've got this. Just type that in on YouTube and there's, a, there's lots of simple tutorials. It takes like 30 seconds guys. Um, so you want to open that up. Um, it takes a little bit. Um, and then you want to go over to this little section over here and just right click and create anima animation sets for new model. And I've already got one imported. And basically you just want to type in the name of the Fortnite skin. So you need to remember the Fortnite skin name. So this one's Dream and you just want to open it. Very simple. Um, so yeah, once you've opened it, um, these are the keys on the keyboard you need to remember. You need to always hold down left click when you want to move around. So I'm left clicking now um, and WASD, those are the keys to move around. Um, like It's just like a game basically, A and D, left and right. W and S um, up and down, well in and out, and then Z and X is up and down, um, and then if you hold down left click and Alt, you can rotate it as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically the main commands, um, and you want to make sure when when you're editing it, um, like moving the arms and the legs and the body, you want to make sure you're on this one right here, um, the blue one. Um, well, they, all, they go blue when you click on it, but the middle one, basically, the timeline. Um, and yeah, once you've done that, these are some little buttons you want to remember. This, this one right here, that's for, well, let's just show you an example. Go to the skin uh, section over here and press the plus button to open it up. Uh, and as you can see, there's body, arms, fingers, all the different things you can change. Uh, I'm not going to go through everything, I'm not going to like make a complete new pose because I'm, I'm just going to stick with this. But say you want to change the body, you can click on body. Um, and yeah, there's like loads of different options you can change, you can make it look really realistic. So say you want to change the spine, um, you can press on that and uh, make sure you, uh, this button's selected so you can move it up and down. And you can go like that if you want, you can stretch it out, you can make it look really weird. But um, rotates the more useful tool because you can. It's a lot more realistic. Like you can bend it over and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go through absolutely everything, but you get the idea. 
say if you want to move the arms and stuff, you just press on arms and uh, you've got like the shoulder, the elbow and the different sections of the arm that you can change. So like the lower arm, make sure on the ro rotate tool down here and you can just rotate it like that. So yeah, I'm just going to stick with the one I've already got. Uh, once you've got the one you want and you've got it in the right camera position, so like say you want it like that, you, all you got to do is go to file, export, poster, um, save and then choose a de destination, so I'm, I'm just going to use the desktop, make sure it's on a PNG 1920x1080 and then you're done. Um, yeah, once you've done that you can just go over into Photoshop and let's just start again on Photoshop. So I'm just going to go to File, New or whatever editing your software you're in. Uh, make sure it's 1280 by 720 because that's the YouTube thumbnail size. Um, and then we're just going to go onto Google and just type in Fortnite background, um, Fortnite cinematic background and I'm just going to use this one right here. Control V to paste it in and just hold down Shift and Alt to resize it. And that's looking nice, very nice background. Then you just want to go to File, Place and find where you saved your character. I saved it on the desktop. I'm going to rasterize it and there's a white background so to remove that go to the Magic Wand tool and click in the white areas. I'm holding down shift to select all the different areas and just press delete on the keyboard. There's also one down there. Um, and yeah, once you've done that, you can resize the image by uh, holding shift and alt. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm just going to double click on the Fortnite character. I'm going to add a gradient overlay. This is just to make it look a bit more realistic. Uh, it's on 13 opacity and uh, the angle's like 50 so this, it's darker at the bottom and lighter at the top and then I add an inner glow you guys can do that too, just copy down the set, uh, settings overlay, opacity's on 70 and there's a small choke and a small size so it's just a little glow all the way around the character and then you can rasterize it and then what I'd like to do is just add one more thing add a new layer, create clipping mask and then on the left side, or right, depends whatever you want, uh, just add a small shadow, bring down the opacity of it, control E, and then I like to just mess about, uh, mess about with the, uh, the colours and the colour corrections. Uh, first I just add a little spot of white at the top, bring down the opacity of it, a small shadow around the outside also looks cool. And then if you go down to this little half circle down here, just go to brightness and contrast, bring the brightness down, contrast up, colour curves, make a small S shape, so bring this point down, that point up, and then exposure, bring the exposure up a little bit, the offset up a bit, and the gamma correction, and then go to colour balance, and basically whatever colour character you've got, you want to change it to that, so I'm going to bring it over to the blue, maybe a bit more magenta and a bit more blue and then if you group everything together you can see it makes it look a lot more realistic and just better um, I also like to mess about with the background a little bit so if you just go into the background and go to filter distort pinch and add a little pinch it's on 50% for me and it looks something like that and then if you press ctrl J and go to filter Blur, Gaussian Blur, just blur the background a bit. You can leave it like that, but I like to get the eraser tool on a, on a low opacity and a low hardness and just press in the center um, and then make it a bit bigger and press again in the center. So it's like blurred around the outside. And yeah, that's pretty much it guys for the tutorial. I know it was very quick, you can just re-watch it or just pause in certain areas. I didn't want to like drag it out too long. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. If you want to see more tutorials like this, let me know down below. Um, and yeah, with that all being said, I hope you're having a sick day today. And I'll see you in the next video.